Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to my walkthrough. Today, we're going to go ahead and fish, finish up the Duke's archives, head through the Crystal Caves, and get rid of Seath. First off, I'm just going to run down here, plow through these Pisakas, and get my souls and get, get out of here. Now these are the ones that you can farm the humanity off of, however you just saw how many I just killed and there's one. One humanity on the floor. But supposedly they drop it more than the rat. Both of these only dropped that miracle once. You get soothing sunlight and bountiful sunlight. Logan was behind that gate, but you can't get to him just yet. You're going to have to get the key from the archives. Head up here. If you want to fight these up here, Try and stand in front of a pillar. That way the guy shooting the electric or lightning bolts. <laughs> the guy shooting the lightning bolts can't hit you as easily. Here's our key to get out of here. This is what you would turn off if, uh, you know, whenever you first get down here. You can flick that and turn the annoying sound back on again. But we're going to leave it off. Or go back to where that ladder was. Oh. 
Alright, the guy's gonna be shooting arrows at you, so shield up. Whenever you get in here, you're gonna take a sharp left turn and start swinging. Alright, as soon as you head in here, got a channel right in front of you. Hope for him to drop his trident, because that's one of the rare weapons. I always check every corner, even though I'm 99% certain where all the treasure chests are, I still check everywhere. I would advise just heading down from where we killed that channeler and going to the bonfire. Just so you don't have to run all the way back through the prison area. Alright, now these move in pairs, well, in tandem, I guess you would say. So as this one turns, no, I'm not going to make that. Alright, yeah, as this staircase turns, the one in the other area turns. So now that we've turned them, the, right there where we killed that channeler, there will be a staircase right there now. Alright, to get that Evelyn, or Avalyn. As soon as you start turning the staircase towards the top of that, well, towards the other side. As soon as you stop the turning animation, you're going to run towards the bottom of the stairs. Pause for, I would say, one Mississippi. Like, say one Mississippi, and then fall off. Turn this one. Heading into there is going to let you open up the shortcut to the bonfire right here in the archives. 
So we're just going to rush down this ladder. Open it up. And light the bonfire. Now all we have left to do in here is basically just getting the apple in. Heal up. Head over to the wheel. You want to heal up because the second you hit that top of the bookcase, you're going to lose some health. Pause. Drop. Actually, yeah, I wouldn't even say one Mississippi. Like, just, just one. Stop, say one, and then go again. Collect all you can right now. Even if you already have it, just grab it. Whenever you get to New Game 2, or well, New Game Plus, you're going to be able to sell all of these weapons and everything. And that'll help with getting extra souls to level up in New Game Plus. We still need the Channeler's Trident. Again, flipping this back around so that we can access the other one.
love to drop. And we made it. Now we just have to not die here. And I died from grabbing. And I still have yet to rest at the regular bonfire. Alright, finally resting at the bonfire. But now we're pretty much done. Now we're going to head on to the Crystal Caverns. So head in through here. This little room on the left, once we finish up with uh, Big Hat Logan, he'll be in here for us to purchase his magics and once you purchase all of them he will become insane and go to the first area that we fought Seath in so we'll head back there eventually get the channeler set now that one there is to release Seath this one here is a mimic We just plowed right through that mimic. Crystal Ember. I was like, oh, okay, well, you know. Now that I have that key, might as well go free Logan before I go anywhere else. There's also a Firekeeper's soul inside of his cell, so that will help out. You can warp back to this bonfire here, the one inside of this, the main archive library area. So, once we free Logan, get that Firekeeper's soul, you can head back to Firelink, upgrade your Estus, then head on through the crystal caves.
right, now we can go ahead and let him out and go through his dialogue and grab the Firekeeper's soul. Oh, thank you. That makes twice. I must be sure. I will visit the archives. If I discover any new spells, I shall share them. Prepare to be impressed by the onward march of sorcery. From here, you could homeward bone back if you have a bone. Or you could just run all the way back. I mean, everything's pretty much dead. You might as well just run. Just warp from that bonfire in there. Now we're gonna head on, go through this little field, take out some of these crystal golems. Now, before you go in here, you need to be sure that you have done most of uh, Sigurd's quests. You've given him the moss, he's given you emit force and all that. Pick up the prism stones. Alright, how you'll know you've basically, you know, you've done his quest line so far. As soon as you go through this fog, you're gonna see a gold crystal golem. Alright, see it right there through the trees. So we know we're good to go. We're gonna head around here to the left. Now even though we are so much farther into the game, these things really aren't too hard to fight right now. You can get blue chunks from them if you need to level up magic or enchanted or crystal weapons. Alright, this next patch, you got three of them. Even though they're not that hard, you don't want to fight three of them at once. So use a bow or some throwing knives to lure them out. You can kind of edge slowly closer to them and draw one out at a time, but that just takes a lot longer. If you edge towards one side, it'll aggro one of them quicker.
There's a lot of times you can get this one stuck in between the trees right here, and he won't end up doing hardly anything to you. Alright, go talk to his daughter. Right. Thank you. I am Zizlin de Katarina. I don't know how I ended up in that crystal. It wasn't terrible in there, but I could hardly move. I must think of some way to repay you. Oh, had you... you wouldn't miss him. Thank goodness. Tell her yes. I knew he was here somewhere. Well then, now I must find him. Thanks again, truly. Oh, for this they put me to keep out of trouble. I'm good. Well then. As long as you killed the Crystal General, his armor will be here. Try to lower these out one at a time, just like the other three. After I get through them one time, and I'm actually in the caves, then I generally just run past these guys. They won't follow you down. There's another one down here on the crystal. You'll just run past it. I mean, you can try to fight it if you want. But it can be a bit annoying, especially with the placement. You'll try fighting it and end up falling off. I mean, it is nice practice. Because there's a crystal golem down here. Two of them, actually, that you have to fight on a crystal. Well, a crystal walkway. Those crystal butterflies there, they're stronger than the moonlight butterflies. Do not hit them. I mean, if you are very confident in yourself and think you can get rid of them, go for it. But they do not land, so you pretty much can't hit them with any basic melee attacks. These crystal golems here roll back and forth. Don't roll to the side. You roll to the side, you're going to take a chance on falling off. Now that we got that one out of the way, you're going to get down here and it's going to kind of pull you, kind of run to the left a little bit. All right, see these two spikes? There's going to be a walkway here. There's quite a few crystal lizards in here. I want to say three, possibly four. And they will just, they'll, they'll start to run away as soon as you drop down. So we're going to head over here, use these snowflakes to show you a general idea of where the pathway is, but how you're going to help yourself is by getting the prism stones, and drop them. It 
it'll show you where you can actually walk. A general idea of it anyway. Because if you happen to get a prism stone like right on the edge of a walkway, it's not going to matter. You're still going to fall off into the abyss. So use a combination of the prism stones and the snowflakes to show you where you need to go. Now we got the blue slab. Now we just gotta get back. It's a general straight shot. Alright. Now from here, I am going to restart. And we're going to try and get those crystal lizards. I hate leaving stuff. The only time I'm really going to leave anything is in the Great Hollow. I go in there, get what needs to be done, and get out. I leave items, I leave lizards, I just, I just don't mess around with that area. time hopefully I probably shouldn't be doing this but you know you can either run forward or drop down to get that item I really don't like fighting the golem here Again, use the snowflakes to give you a general path. And you're done. Oh, well, that works. The golem killed himself. Run to the left. Now, as you notice, these crystal butterflies won't do anything to you. They will not attack you, so don't attack them. <laughs> you will just... You, you will not have a good time. I mean, if you're a basic knight and you have a really good bow, I mean, sure, go for it, but you're going to need a lot of arrows. If you're a magic caster, you'd have an easier time with it. I wanted to go back to the uh, bonfire and get it to, well, basically just... Get it to where my SS will be at plus 10. I just went ahead and warped to Firelink to get that plus 10 since I didn't have a humanity to waste. Go ahead and tell her yes again. Now we're going to warp back and get rid of C.
Now these things, you can bait out their attacks. Whenever they tuck their head down to charge at you, just kind of roll backwards and then roll forwards. I really do hate how persistent these things are. Try to drag them out one at a time. Fighting more than one of these things is definitely not ideal. Don't want to waste the Estus. Two more. I already got one coming towards us. Alright, now that these are taken care of, we're going to go in here and fight Seath. Now remember, Seath is a dragon, so he's weak to lightning. So we're going to head towards the light. Head towards the light, Caroline. Turn around, sit in front of the crystal here, but don't break it. We're going to let him do that here in a second. Now whenever, go ahead and power up. The second he starts to do his breath attack, start running around, he's going to break it and that's going to make him pause. Go for the very tip of his middle tail. There you go. And with the uh, gold pine resin on your sword, it shouldn't take too much. Look out for these tail hits. Now what we're going to aim for, you can go right here in this little crook. And it does a decent amount of damage. But you're going to get hit a lot by that tail slams. So what we're going to do is take the chance at the explosion and go for his belly right here. This is where you get the most damage to him. Is this crystal ball of a stomach. Don't stay in the crystals because you will get cursed. If you have a high curse resistance, I mean obviously that's going to help. The higher your humanity, the better your curse resistance. Up to 30 is when that stops. I mean, you notice how much more health is going away now that we're hitting the middle as opposed to his tentacles. Almost 200 more health for each swing. And that's Seath, easy mode. <laughs> All right. 
that's going to go ahead and wrap this episode up and time for us to go take on one of the other soul bearers.